video, I'm going to demonstrate the German short rows. I'm going to demonstrate it in a couple of different ways. First, straight up German short rows, and then um, I'll also show you how to substitute German short rows for regular wraps and turns in socks, uh, because it ends up being a little bit different. And I've had so many requests for this, uh, I'm guessing that a pattern must have come out recently, a popular pattern that uses German short rows, because uh, I just had so many requests for it kind of all in the same week. I wasn't familiar with it. I learned this technique so that I can show it to you. And it's, it's kind of strange because it seems like cheating. <laughs> Short rows should be harder than this. I'm not entirely sure why it works, but it works and it looks really good and it might change the face of working short rows from here on out. Um, talk is cheap. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here's a little piece that I've worked with just straight flat knitting with um, German short rows in it. I should mention this piece is not blocked. It still looks so good. You can see something going on here with the tension, but really all that's going to block out once I get this piece wet and wash it. And here's the back. This little bit here is where I wove in the end. This looks really good. Like I said, I don't know why, why it works, <laughs> but it works. Okay, let me demonstrate. This is just a, a plain piece of knitting, straight. I'm going to show you how to work the German short rows on both the front and the back of the work, the right and wrong side. If you're substituting these in a pattern for that normally calls for wrap and turns, if the pattern says knit eight, wrap and turn, you want to knit nine. Okay, because this is actually going to be the stitch that ends up being the German short row. So I worked, let me say this again, I worked up to the stitch that requires, that would normally require the wrap. I turn the work, my working yarn is in front, um, I am on the wrong side so that's, that seems right. I'm going to slip that stitch from the left needle to the right and this is the unique part of this. I'm going to pull up on that stitch where the working yarn is attached, and it gives me two stitches. And this is funny because this is something that I would normally say don't ever do, because beginning knitters do this all the time and they end up increasing their work. But this is how this works. You pull up, you give yourself two loops where there was one stitch, and then yarn forward to purl across this row. And again, if the pattern says purl eight, wrap and turn, you want to purl nine. You want to be right on the stitch that requires the wrap and turn. So uh, I worked up to the stitch where I want, where I would normally put the wrap and turn, but it's going to be a German short row. I turn the work, I pull the yarn forward between the two needles, slip that stitch from the left to the right, and then pull up on that stitch again. It looks a little different on this side but it still works. Then I'm going to knit across to the next spot. I'll show you this one more time and then I'm going to show you how to pick up the wraps. Or <laughs> pick up the wraps is in quotation marks <laughs> because we're not really doing that. Knit up to the stitch. Turn your work. My working yarn's already in front. I slip that stitch, pull up on it, and then pull the yarn forward to purl to my next wrap. Wrap. I'm going to turn the work, pull the yarn forward, slip that stitch, pull up on that stitch to make it look wonky, and then knit to the next next whatever you're supposed to be doing, but I'm going to show you how to pick up the wraps. Okay, here is the first German short row knot wrap that I come to, and it's kind of a double looking funny stitch. I'm going to knit those two together, and that's it. That is it. I'm going to pick up the rest of them. That's a regular stitch. Here's another funny double stitch. Knit it together and this one is just two stitches. Okay, 
that was how you so that's how you pick up the wraps in German short rows is that you knit the two halves together. Oh, okay, it's crazy. See, I tell you, it's too easy. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on the wrong side. When I come up to the first crazy double looking stitch, which is right here, I'm going to purl those two together. And that's a normal stitch. Here's another crazy looking stitch. I'm going to purl those two together. <laughs> purl one. I told you it's too easy and look how good that looks. Okay, really quickly I want to show you First, compared to a traditional wrap and turn, this is a traditional wrap and turn on a, a, a sock toe. I think it looks good. I think the little holes look decorative. And this is a German short row substituted for the same thing. You stretch it out. This is, it actually looks more solid because there are no holes. I'm going to try to get this in a position so I can hold it still. I know I'm wiggling around. Okay. This is German short rows. This is wrap and turn. The German short row looks more solid, and I can tell you by feeling it, it's not as bulky as the wrap and turn. The wrap and turns actually have a purl three and knit three together um, when you're picking up the double wraps, and that's probably why. Okay, I'll show you. If you're substituting uh, German short rows for regular wraps and turns, there is a time when you're working socks where you, uh, or the toe of socks, where the pattern tells you to put a second wrap on the next stitch. And I want to show you what that looks like. I already have the double stitches here. I've worked my short rows. I am now at the point of the toe of my sock where I want to start picking up the wraps and putting a second wrap on the next stitch. So I'm going to knit those two together because that's my first, um, my first uh, short, my first turn. And then I'm going to knit the next two together as well. Turn the work, slip that stitch, and this is the way what I would do for um, for German short rows for putting a second wrap on the stitch. You just knit that stitch and do the German short row technique on that stitch. And it ends up looking good as you just saw. So here's my first double stitch. I'll purl those together. The pattern tells me to wrap the next stitch. I'm just going to purl those together, turn the work, and do the German short row technique by putting the yarn in front, slipping that stitch, and yanking up on that stitch and then working across to the next one. And in, this is a, a normal provisional cast on toe up pattern where I'll keep going one further each time and putting a second wrap on the next stitch. I guess um, if you're familiar with this kind of, of toe, this is all making a lot of sense. If you're not, um, I'll give you a link to some of my patterns that use this technique in the video description field below. I hope that answers all of your questions on German short rows. Good luck.